What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about the CDS Current Environment Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is perform an unbound action. Now if you watched my last video on performing an action or a bound action inside of CDS and inside of uh, Power Automate, this is kind of similar to that. So whereas a bound action is specific to an entity, so you can only perform certain actions on a certain entity. A unbound action is an action where it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be specific to an entity. So it could be something like an action that is agnostic to um, the entities that you're looking at. So examples of this are things like merge. So a merge action is where you're merging one record with another record that is not necessarily about a specific type of um, entity. Um, so it's not only specific to accounts or only specific to contacts. It's actually agnostic along around around a lot of things as well. So let's take a look at this today. So I'm in Power Automate here. Um, I have my flow, which is a CDS current environment flow, so it's inside a solution. And I've got a trigger here, but we're not really going to use the trigger, we're just going to run uh, from a previous uh, result to make things nice and easy for us. So we can click on New Step. Then we can type into the box, Common Data Service, uh, and wait for that to load. I am having a couple of issues today with the speed of things, so apologies in advance. Uh, I will just try that again. On data service. It's not loading anything. It's new. Ah, there we go. Finally, so uh, common data service here, current environment selector, current environment, this is the one I want to select. So we click on that, and then we wait for the actions to load, uh, and this is a list of actions that you can do inside the common data service current environment connector. And then we have one here that is perform an unbound action. So we click on that one, and we get our action name. So Unlike the uh, bound action, um, I do not have to specify the um, the type of field, the type of entity that I'm looking at. Instead, I'm only choosing the action and then it's going to provide me with some content for me to do stuff. So whereas I said this is actually, um, this is sort of agnostic, so you don't need to have a... Um, you don't need to have a specific entity. A lot of these do actually relate to specific entities anyway. So things like um, uh, add list, member list, um, uh, we've got bulk delete in here, and um, calculate price, that would be, um, that'd be things for like opportunities and quotes and orders and invoices and things like that. So that covers all four, uh, but still works on a, uh, a single entity. Cancel sales order, there'll, there'll only ever be one uh, entity, which is a sales order in the system. Uh, cancel the sales order is that, but it's included in here. So that's why it's kind of a little bit complicated to understand that this is not specific to an entity, but some of these things do only work on a specific entity. Um, whereas other things um, can be uh, a bit more agnostic. Clone as patch or clone as solution. Uh, these are actually related to things like um, uh, your solutions. So cloning a patch of your solution with some updates and cloning a, a solution, you can actually perform those things inside of uh, Power Automate now. So that's handy. Um, so yeah, we've got things that merge in here. The one I am going to use today is I'm actually going to get generate quote from opportunity. So we're going to click on this one. Uh, and then what it'll do is it'll go off to Dynamics and it'll go, right, I need some information. What does this action do? So we have a few different um, things that we can set, um, set in here. So we've got Opportunity ID. So this is the ID of the opportunity that we need. Column set, set all columns. Or column set all columns. This means do we want to bring all the columns from the opportunity onto the quote uh, when we're setting it? So all things like price list or anything else. <coughs> if if yes, uh, if we set this to yes, it'll pull up, bring through everything. If we set it to no, then we actually have this uh, box down here where we can actually map specific fields across. So uh, I think that's what this does is that you can put in the, the field name or the steamer name and it'll say, okay, I'll, I'll bring this one across, I'll bring this one across, but we won't bring all of them across. And process instance ID uh, is not really um, something we need to worry about. So opportunity ID, we just need the druid of an opportunity. So if I flick over to Dynamics, 
I have this opportunity here. This is a test op. And if I go to quotes, we can see, even if I click refresh, there are no quotes on this opportunity. So this opportunity has uh, a bunch of products on it. All these products, the stretch shortbread, Palatum pizza, haggis iron brew, apples and bananas. Um, and we've got it set up so it's in British pounds. Um, we've got all the things in here, like the price list is the Stretch Summit 2020 price list. And we've got this list, this list of products, but we have no quotes at the moment. If I use level up in my, um, in my Chrome, I can get the record ID. And then we can paste this into it. You can, you can get this from dynamic content if we're running on this, but I'm just going to trigger this from a, a previously run flow just to trigger it. Um, the action is going to be um, completely separate from that. Uh, I'm going to set all columns to yes, so I don't need to fill them in one by one. Uh, and then we can test this. So we click on test. Uh, run from a previous one, uh, we'll choose the top one, hit save and test. And then this will draw off and run. So I just chose this example. Um, you can choose any unbound action in the system. Uh, as I previously mentioned in my last video, these don't even need to be um, things that are inside Dynamics at the moment. You can create actions inside Dynamics or CDS. You can create custom actions that um, you know trigger code and things like that inside this. Um, there's loads of options. So this ran successfully. Uh, we can see did this, uh, we've got some data back uh, in the body and stuff like that. If I go back to my opportunity, this is where my quote would be. If I hit refresh, we have a new quote that we've made uh, about a minute ago. Open this up and we've pulled through everything. So we've got the British pounds, we've got the price list, we've got all the uh, all of the, the uh, products from the opportunity on here, we've got totals, everything else. So this is an unbound action. Although it is specific to um, to generating a quote, it is not specific to um, to only being able to run on a quote. So you can um, you can trigger this from anywhere, and as long as you paste in the information, it can generate it. But um, just understanding the difference between bound and unbound actions. Unbound action is you can do um, do it from anywhere. It's agnostic, so things like merge, delete, bulk delete, not specific to data. Uh, bound actions are specific to the entity that you're looking at. So um, you know things like I, I showed last time on. Um, and generating quote quote products from a um, from an opportunity products you know that's specific to the quote um, that's not a bound action it's not a, not an unbound action it's a bound action it's kind of hard when when some of these kind of mix together but uh, essentially any any sort of anything that's agnostic to the data source you're looking at that is an unbound action anything that's specific to a data source that is a bound action however you can have um, specific data sources in the unbound as well so i hope that made sense uh, i hope it made sense to you it kind of makes sense to me so i hope that made sense to you if this video um, was useful uh, i'd appreciate a like and maybe a share with someone um, to grow those views it's really important for me uh, if you've not already please subscribe to my youtube channel and I'll see you next time.